Hey, what's up, guys? Back again with another video. So uh, this time we're going to be learning about um, encapsulation and access control, which is basically the same thing. But anyway, so sometimes when you look at Java, sometimes you see stuff like private or public. Those are called access modifiers. And um, yeah, so they allow your your plugin, I mean, not your plugin, your, your code to be accessed in certain ways. So I'll explain what those mean in a second. But there's actually three of them, uh, three access modifiers that we can use. There's public, private, and protected. Protected will not go over this episode because um, it's only used for inheritance. So we'll, re we'll be learning about it soon because we learned about inheritance. But anyway, um, and then you could just have nothing. So when a piece of code, like a, maybe a variable or a method, is specified like with no, um, with no modifier, like no public or no private, that just means that it can be accessed anywhere in your code except, for, um, but it's only limited to its own package. It cannot be accessed outside of the package that it's in. And we'll be learning about packages later on, so don't worry about that. But with public, if it's specified as public, like public, public um, integer, uh, potato, then that can be accessed anywhere in your code, absolutely anywhere. But if you have private, that can only be accessed in the class that you make. And that's the important one that we'll be learning more about soon. So yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. So let me demonstrate these. So class, let's make a class here and call it account so this would be like a bank account I guess and then with that within that account we have um, some variables so we'll have like um, int balance and we'll set balance equal to a thousand dollars whatever and we'll set it to we'll have nothing for now right and um, we'll actually have it public in this case public is the same as uh, having nothing because we're not messing with packages right now so that's just to demonstrate whatever so it can be accessed anywhere right as public so within that, uh, we could have a, uh, what's it called, a uh, method, right? So method, uh, let's do uh, pff, deposit money, deposit, how about just deposit? So let's give it a parameter, and then um, within that parameter, we'll have integer money. So uh, balance equals balance plus money, so we're adding you know some money to it for depositing. And then we'll have, um, that's all we need really. And so anyway, so the point is, let's go ahead and make an object here. So new, uh, oh no, no, account, uh, account one equals new, oops, oh my gosh, new account, okay, there we go. So now we have a new account, right? And usually when we have, um, like a new object, right? We can just do something like this, like print out the values, account one dot balance, and there we go. We have access to that, right? And that's all fine and dandy, right? But let's print it out first. There we go. But if we have it to private, then um, then we can't access it outside of this class. And what I mean by that, it can't be accessed outside of this whole little block right here. Anything that's not highlighted right now, it cannot be accessed in, okay? So now it's even red. It tells you you can't access it if it's private. But if we have nothing, of course, it can be accessed also, right? Because we, we've done that before anyway. So anyway, um, so yeah, we can't access it. So the point, um, well, what you would do, what would you do? So what you would do to get around this is have your getters and your setters. This um, provides a a structured way of accessing your your um, your variables without giving someone else or any class outside of that class access to what your variables are called and to your variables. So I'll explain more of why you need that in a second. But anyway, so let's make our getters and our setters. We learned how to do that in a previous episode, so you should know how to do that. If not, just go back and look at it. Anyway, so we have our getters and setters, right? And this is private. But although um, although it's private, we can have these methods that are able to access it, and so we can access it that way. So account one dot get balance, and now we can access it. Now it's not restricted. Uh, oh, we have an error. All oh, right, we didn't have a closing parenthesis here. That's okay. There we go. So now we have a thousand, right? And then likewise, we can set our money. So set balance, and we'll set it to about two hundred dollars. So now he's about to be broke. He was already about to be broke, but he's even more almost broke now. Oh, we have an error. Permethrin void. Oh, I see what we're doing wrong. We're trying to print out when we're using set balance. That doesn't even make sense. So we would just do account one dot set balance, right? 
uh, so balance two hundred dollars, and then we can print out the value of what it now is. So count one dot get balance. You know, very simple stuff. Have we done this before? Okay, so let's think about this. If um, this is set to public, then anyone, for example, a hacker maybe, can now access the variables by themselves and now they can set it to be whatever one they can do account one dot balance is equal to oh not like that let's get rid of this they can set people's balance like this so account one dot balance equals you know zero dollars so they could like hack it or something maybe like that so the point is you don't want them to have access to the variables and their variable names um, so what you do is give them methods to work with so they don't see the rest of your code inside of your of your classes so it provides a controlled interface, I guess you would say, so that um, another part of the program won't be able to by bypass the methods and access the variables directly. And uh, yeah, so in the wrong hands, this could lead to trouble, you know. So um, yeah, so this is a method to like uh, control your your variables and not outlet uh, let outside uh, sources access your code, basically. So anyway. Um, yeah, it's just about keeping your stuff. It's, I mean, it's called encapsulation, so it's, think of it as like a capsule, you know? You're keeping it protected. So, yeah, so you want to make your, your things private from now on if you have your gears and your setters, so it's all structured and stuff like that. So anyway, I hope this made a little sense. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Um, if you want to join our Discord, there's a Discord in the description. You could talk, ask questions, whatever you want to do. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, like if you liked it. And peace.